Hi folks, welcome back to another one of my beer reviews. I'm going to finish up something I promised uh, indirectly Dennis LD that I would do. Uh, the brush did you see that he mentioned their IPA, and I did in fact find it. So, I haven't seen the rest of their lineup. There's still a few others like the Spring Equinox, uh, I believe a white beer, but, or wit beer. But uh, for now, this seems to be the last one I can get. So, this is Brasserie Dieu du Ciel, Brewery God of the Sky, Corn du Diable, Horns of the Devil. Uh, somebody told me that I should have probably have made this a Halloween beer based on just the uh, label, but it's an IPA. It's 6.5%. So, I didn't really feel it was really a Halloween beer. Now, from their website, Corn du Diable, French for Horn of the Devil, is a contemporary interpre interpretation of the classic English India Pale Ale. This new style, born on the west coast of North America, is characterized by stronger and hoppier beers. The result is a red ale, expressing caramel flavors coming from the malt, sharp bitterness, and powerful hop aromas, thanks to dry hopping. Sure. Apparently they've been brewing this one since 2004 as well, so I guess it's a little bit more of a recent addition. Well, without much further ado, let's just... Oh. No smoke this time. <laughs> I'm really, I've been watching some of Jody's reviews, so no smoke. And uh, to answer a question that Chad asked me, no, I do not get uh, dogfish head up here. I actually don't get that many American craft beers. I get more of the macros. The fact that I'm getting a Rogue and a few others are a big exception. So, I just got a standard mug here for the IPA. Not really the recommended glass, but that's what I had. Tried to be aggressive on the pour so I'd get ahead, but scenario. It's not the recommended glass for this, so. Well, let's see, this is a. Hmm. Well, I can't see through it, so. I would almost think this is unfiltered, or it's just, you know, very dark. It's a, definitely a reddish. I, I see basically primarily red, but some amber in there as well. So, let's have a smell here. Some of you may remember I uh, reviewed Garrison's Seasonal Hop Yard Ale a while back, and uh, yeah, I'm getting the same, s definitely getting the hops. <laughs> same hoppy smell here. It's just a, uh, yeah, definitely hops. Um, I think if I stretch it, I can get a little caramel there in the smell, but I think I'm stretching for something that I'm just barely picking up. Well, without further ado, cheers. I am not much of a hophead, but I like this. I really am not. I'm much more of a dark beer fan, so... I sincerely like this. Uh, I find this has a light feel. Very smooth to drink. Unlike Garrison's Hop Yard Ale, which is, I don't, I'm not a hop head, so I don't have that many comparisons I can do. Uh, this one doesn't have, Hop Yard, I believe because it was using fresher hops, perhaps, to me had almost like a grassier taste into it, in it. This one does not. There's no grassy taste to it. I'm definitely hit with the hops, but on the aftertaste I'm getting, you know, something very well balanced, like less bitter, and a little bit of the caramel. So, yeah, very good. I really like this. Granted, I'm limited in my experience with IPAs, but I really like this. I'm going to give this a solid... 
You know, for now, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. I might revisit this beer after I've had a few more IPAs, but this is getting a solid 8 out of 10 for me. All right, folks. Brasserie Dieu du Ciel. Horn du Diable, the Horn of the Devil. 8 out of 10. Excellent beer. I can't find anything wrong with it. Well balanced. I love all the flavors so far. And I will take a moment just to answer a question that popped up again. And I actually had to delete a comment regarding this. Stone Arrogant Bastard. When Last time I was in the States, I had one. I tried to review it, had some technical difficulties, couldn't post it. I did get, let you guys know I didn't like it. So I had to delete one comment because it was basically calling me very obscene names. I don't appreciate that, but you know, to each their own, and I do appreciate constructive criticism. Now, I know Jay's asked me how I couldn't like this. I know Chad's asked me this. What I tasted was essentially a very malty, bitter mess. It was not well balanced to me. It was disgusting. It could have been an older bottle. I don't know how long it was on the shelf for. It could very well simply be, I don't like it. I can't get it up here, so I can't exactly go out, grab another bottle, and go, okay, now I have a fresh bottle. Oh, oh, it's great. Sorry, I can't. Will I be doing it this time when I'm going to the States again? Maybe. I'm not in a rush for it, guys. Do I think people should stop drinking it? No, of course not. Go drink Stone Area Ambassador. If you like it, try it. If you've never had it, try it. You might like it. I personally did not. So, I know that Stone's advertising is you either will or you won't, and I think I'm going to be in the camp of I don't like it. Sorry, folks. Can't really help my taste buds. But, you know, if anybody ever wants to uh, beer trade with me, let me know, and I'll see because that's about the only other way I'm going to get stone. Because frankly, and I just realized what I said there, that's the only other way I'm ever going to get arrogant bastard. Because frankly, spending $800 on a ticket just to go fly down and try it and change my mind is not worth it, folks. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving to my viewers in the States. And basically, keep on drinking, stay safe. Cheers. <laughs>